Hi guys, good evening. That's a perfect place to start my narration for today's training video. My name is Modo Victor, right here in Brisbane, Australia, covering the Super Falcons. I like to call myself the Super Falcons shadow for the FIFA Women's World Cup Australia and New Zealand. Today is match day minus one. And the Super Falcons just had their last and final training ahead of the, uh, ahead of the amazing um, showstopper against England. Um, this is this is their make or this 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 is their make or mark game. This is the game where if you snooze, you lose, you go home. Super Falcons have said repeatedly over and over again that they are ready for what it takes to deliver the goods against England. Um, report from today's training session: Every player trained at least for the fifteen minutes that were there. Every player trained, okay, except in the case of um Onome Ebi, when the team was jogging, Onome was um doing a single, a solo walk around the pitch. So I don't know if that um I don't know if that's something to do with fitness or just a coach's decision. But aside from that, every other person in the team trained um and you see the little kick around that they do the small kick about that they do that they did at, at the start of it and the brother bernard moment when nadoze put the ball in between in between the legs of senior of senior woman desire Okpanoze. i promise you guys i'll cut out that video and make a couple of takes on it on tiktok back and forth something that we can something that we can trend but if i do that remember i am safe in your hands you guys will have to protect me from desire when she gets when she gets a hold when she gets a hold um of me so team report everybody is fit to the best of my knowledge we also asked the coach earlier today at the press conference about the fitness level of his team and he said he has everybody available um he was also asked he, he was also asked about the the availability of or supposed availability of desire Paranos, one of our most decorated strikers and he said that she was not fit at the start of the tournament because she picked up an injury but the good news is she is fit right that she is now fit to take part in this game and the question now is if He's going to deploy her in the game. But in terms of fitness level, they have everybody that they need fit to execute this game. He spoke about Assistant Oshola to also confirm that Assistant is actually now totally fit in his words. Totally fit. I don't know if they are going to take the shackles off and unleash her immediately from the start. But Assistant is fit. Assistant is ready for this um, game against England. Remember, it is make or Ma. Also, we are attending the press conference for England. I can't show you visuals from the team walk because I don't have um I don't have uh, of their feel of the pitch. Sorry, because I don't have the license to video that. But after the but the team from England came into Brisbane today. They had their feel of the pitch earlier today. And um, at the press conference, they asked the they asked the coach they asked the coach about the Nigerian side and what they need to to get past Nigeria. And she says the Nigeria is a strong enough team that they knows that, that they know about the strengths of Nigeria and they also know how good the Nigerian side is. But they have to work on capitalizing 
on our on our weaknesses. Also, on the issue of um, pay, um, not just the Nigerian FA or Federation is struggling with the players um, in relation to um, agreements on payments. The English FA also, um, according to the players, the player and the coach at the press conference, discussions about their pay is presently on pause, right? That those discussions have been going on between the Federation and the players and an agreement has not been reached about um, what allowances they're going to get in view of the fact that FIFA is giving $30,000 involved per player per match um no 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 not per match sorry for group state thirty thousand round of sixteen and another thirty thousand that's um that's sixty if when Nigeria, not if, when we beat England tomorrow to quarterfinals, that becomes 90,000. So even the English FA is having these discussions with the players and discussions have been put on hold. So it's, it's, it's almost a worldwide thing in terms of agreements between the players and their federations. Now, away from all of that, at the back of this video, I'm going to be adding interviews that we had firstly with the ambassador talking about all that they have done to make Brisbane feel like Nigeria for the Super Falcons and then with the wife of the deputy speaker of the House of Rep um, that came basically representing her husband here for tomorrow's game and talking about all they are going to do to make Nigeria work. I'd also attach the interview of Ashley Plumter and also that of Desire of Um Nigerians have turned up in mass as much as they can for the first three games of the Super, the Super Falcons. Tomorrow we play England. That's like a make up or mad game for us. If we lose, we go home. How much Nigerian support locally should the Super Falcons expect us? So Nigerians back home expect from Nigerians here? Ha, huh. Victor, first of all, let me tell you, we're not losing tomorrow. They are composed, they are focused, they are ready to go. And uh, like I assured them, I charged them that this is a battlefield. But at the end of the day, a team must emerge victorious. We are going to emerge victorious. And I also recall that Nigerians in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, cut across Australia, most Nigerians will be here tomorrow to cheer them to victory. And they assured me that, Ambassador, you've been with us throughout this journey. We will make sure we make you proud and make Nigerians proud tomorrow. Um, talk Talking about um, your role as, as ambassador, we have, um, 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 we have seen videos and pictures of the girls being treated to proper Nigerian food here. Can you just walk us through um, the, um, the lengths the, the embassy has gone to, to ensure that um, Brisbane feels like home for the Super Falcons? Well, Victor, in fact, today I share the same passion with the girls. I don't want to be dwelling about what our roles are. As your high commission as the ambassador, the first priority to every ambassador is about welfare of Nigerians, not just Nigerians in Australia, but as our super falcons are doing well, we have to all the time be with them to ensure whatever things they want to make their stay more focused and comfortable, we do it. And of course, Nigerians, any other day, we love our cuisines, we love our food. So we make sure on routine basis as appropriate we make sure that Nigerian food is served to them so that they feel at home. Of course, you know, it gives more strength on like this or you both things we eat here. That's part of it. I'm happy to do that as a high commissioner representing Mr. President in this part of the world. It's an honor to say you're doing something for your country. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. In your, in your minds, how are you feeling about the game? Look, the girls have been fantastic so far and they've made us so proud. I am um, actually genuinely proud of how far they've come. Um, as you said, tomorrow is going to be a tough game, a deciding game, but I still have confidence. I mean, look at what has happened in the group matches. Surprise after surprise after surprise. Three African teams in the round of 16. Never happened before. So we are not going in fearful. We're not going in thinking negatively. We are going and with all the support and all the belief in the girls to be able to deliver because they have what it takes. Whether we're playing the defending champions or not, we are going in with a mindset to win the game. Okay, ma, um, football is powerful in the sense that it empowers everyone. It and does. It's an amazing story for the girl child being able to participate in football mm. and the opportunities that it brings. 
do you think the, um, the, the success of this team will go a long way in encouraging um, girls back home? Firstly, tell them that they can do whatever they want to do and then maybe getting some of, more of them to adopt football as a profession. That's a fantastic question and that's why I'm here tonight. I'm here because I wanted to say to girls and women in general that anything is possible when you put your mind to it. And the girls have shown us that. I'm a doctor, medical doctor by profession, and that's what we grew up with in terms of careers that, you know, you have to be in the professional careers to be able to be successful. But you know, that's not the mindset anymore. You can do anything that you want to do and be successful in it, whether locally or internationally. You just have to have the mindset to excel. And the girl child has come so far from the days of our grandmothers when the girl child was only relegated to the background, relegated to the home, relegated to only you know, cleaning and looking after children. Yes, we still do all of those things, but we have expanded right outside of that zone into being able to be professionals in any career that we choose to be. So fan football is a fantastic way to show that. And so tonight, I'm here to actually support these girls and to sh showcase what you, the girl child can actually do if they put their mind to it. And to also let the girls back home be, let them be aware that they can explore other things outside the traditional professional careers and into whatever their skills and talents are to, and be uh, you know reassured that they can succeed in whatever they choose to do However, yes the, the support for the girls tomorrow i mean we are not always the um at the most in the stadium but we're always the loudest in the stadium one way one way on. we sure are uh, yes yes how will your presence here along with that of the ambassador galvanize the nigerians that came for the competition and those in australia to support the girls oh for the past three games it's been crazy chaos good chaos nigerians have been placed on the football map you know we have celebrated every goal we have celebrated every goal we have celebrated and so it's not really going to be different tomorrow but our presence tomorrow will show them that look we support you we are here for you we're here to show you that we're here to show you that the nation is behind you so yes it's going to be loud again you can be assured of that but then we're here to say we are seeing you and we support you